Hello guys, welcome back. We were last left off, the Orcs were defeated, and the Eldar are on their own. I've got a little side project going- Okay, turn back. Just blow them up. It was over in milliseconds. I've got a little side project going up on up here, there's just a base, because why not? Most of my reason in the, uh, in this se uh, session, that was the word. Oh, blow them up. For love of God, destroy that. We don't want turrets. Not that it would do much damage, but... Oh, cutscene. Return to the main base. Let our enemies fight amongst themselves. Ah, oh, the chaos. I forgot about you. Forget about the chaos. Oh, and guess what? Off screen. Everybody uh spawned. That's awesome. Acquiring targets. Acquiring targets. So yeah, if you want to destroy that turret. God. Hey, do want to do that? Just there's a cutscene now, but the game is still going, and you lose a devil fish apparently. Well, anyway, the chaos will hopefully destroy most of the base over here, and then I can just roll in and kill all the troops. It's a win-lose. Lose. If you include the Beldar in there. We need to clean up these humans before we can proceed. Alien scum! I will wipe this planet clean with you while that fool Eliphas only waits. He's essentially dead, you know that, right? Oh. He's dead? Then I am the Chaos Lord! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, that's probably what he's thinking. I doubt he really cares about Elephants. For Tao to prosper, it will be so. My giant mechanized division. It's not really mechanized, but my giant division is rolling in and destroying everything here. And here they are. It's also been a while since I fought the Chaos. Strong, Farseer, but the webway gates to your wraith ship are vulnerable. Our course is clear then. Protect the gates at all costs. Without them we may never escape this world. We must drive the attackers back. Farseer, why don't we just leave the world? What? Well, we could just leave. Would save all the lives. You know, is there any point in being here? Just, just no. But we're gonna stop and fight. Why? Don't question me. Okay. No idea why I got it up again. Apparently, it's explained if you do the Eldar campaign. Uh, but. You know, I haven't done the Eldar campaign, so... Okais, the Earthcast has determined that the Eldar are utilizing these structures to transport their invasion force. We shall take them and trap their forces before they can escape. Then, they will have no choice but to recognize the greater good. A fast strike in and out. 
Really? Again? We're doing this again. Well, my defenses aren't holding up as well as I hoped, so... Let's grab some crews and some drone squads. And back to the first time. They've got a minefield. Okay, the Chaos have got a minefield. How come the Eldar didn't mention the Chaos? The base is like... a couple meters? Yards? Like, uh, away from their main base? And they just didn't care? Did they even know? It was like, Farseer! There's enemies just down there! Did you know? Oh, no! I just thought it was the orcs. Huh. Never mind. Might be a good distraction at some point. Okay, the orcs, I can understand. But the chaos, I wouldn't leave them alive, honestly. Like, if I had the choice to use, like, utilize the chaos, unless I was fighting the Tyranids, no. I mean, they're unpredictable as hell. Also, when the cutscene happened, I lost all my visibility. Except to the regions that I already had. So I have no idea. That just happened. And my dogs are gonna blow up. No, no, they actually turned around. So, look at them go! And, oh, God. Not this again. He did a 720 backflip right there. There we go. So the chaos are much easier than the orcs. Although the chaos have a much more profession professional entrance position there. But it's not less than that long. Although I am losing a lot of men trying to move up here. But it is all coming down pretty damn fast. And for once, all my troops are actually engaged. Except, uh, these guys. Okay, this drone's now. You shall be Army 9. Just in case. There. Oh, we killed the sorcerer. No, oh, wasn't that interesting to begin with. Every f what the hell? It cannot be. They touched the self-destruct button on my body. Which is oh, the Western Road cleared. Mission Group Theta made contact with the Contra. Gets the prey. Okay, I've got four hamheads with Mission Group Theta. Where? Oh, oh, down there! I see the problem. Army 9, move down. Distract them until the main army gets here. Go! My little drone fins. Okay, there's actually Eldar. A lot of Eldar down here. A lot of Wraith Lords as well. Uh, this could be problematic. Good need to get one of these. Uh, move you. There he is, just punching and kicking away. This guy is painted! He's painted in plasma fire. I can't see! It's just white light! You know what? Maybe they didn't need help. These drones are kicking enough ass on their own. Let's 
see if I can reorient it like that. Yeah, that's uh, it's not quite there. That'll do. Kill the dogs and keep destroying webway gates. And my troops are dancing. Well, there was. Next gate. Oh, it's them. I thought that was coming from the sky for a minute. But no, it's uh, just coming from these guys. Go kill them. Oh no, the turret's actually activated. Uh, want to take care of them. I use the sonic pulse. If you can. Oh no, they're all dead. Uh, never mind. No. Easy to come, easy to go, I guess. There is a massive army. Just over there. Oh, there's also a lot of people there. Uh, you want to get out of this bottleneck there. Preferably come over, and you should join Army 1. There's still a turret there. Take that down. Done. Anyway, that's the end of this part, folks, so thanks for watching, and in the next part, uh, I guess moving up on to the other base. See you then.